Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson here, Catfish Edge. So the other day I went out and did uh, a little scouting, trying to see if I could find some big fish. We had some real drastic changes in weather and uh, I wanted to just kind of get out and, and get the pattern figured out before I fished with my clients. And um, I did a bunch of filming while I was catching fish and unfortunately the camera that I was recording the audio on had some issues with it so I didn't get the audio uh, that I needed but I got a bunch of footage uh, while I was catching these fish so what I'm going to do is show you uh, a little bit here about what I was doing how I was fishing I'll give you a couple tips and I'm just trying to patch this together since I lost all my audio so basically there was very little to no wind, light and variable winds. And um, I found a bunch of good trophy sized blue cats, but they were real scattered out and um, could never find any, any real good groups of them in one particular area. So what I was doing was uh, trolling or control drifting, whatever you want to call it, a lot of people call it different things uh, but going through finding these fish uh, on my side imaging sonar and just kind of marking where they were and and where they were holding uh, in some cases to structure and then once I would find the fish uh, and and kind of have a good general target area set out then I drop my trolling motor and deploy the Humminbird 360 sonar. And I use that 360 sonar because it will work with the boat moving really, really slow or sitting still. And that allows me to keep watching and make sure that I'm staying in those big catfish. And then while doing that, I'm using uh, the iPilot, iPilot Link on my trolling motor and just basically slowly moving the boat through these areas where I'd marked these big catfish and dragging the baits through there uh, back behind the boat just baited up with fresh shad. Now unfortunately this day despite the fact that I marked a ton of big catfish I did uh, a lot of fishing and fished pretty hard for several hours and never did connect with one of the big trophy blue cats but I did catch a pretty good mess of, of what I call box fish, but smaller blue catfish from anywhere from about eight to I'd say 12 pounds with a couple of smaller ones uh, mixed in there. So, you know, this is a great way to, to fish. Um, I call this a lot of times precision fishing for catfish because it is, it's very, very tactical where, you know, you're really, really focused on figuring out where those fish are and, and staying right on top of them and right in them. Uh, and you know, this is one of, of many different techniques that I'll use throughout the year. And uh, you know, that can oftentimes change from day to day. But uh, I just want to kind of walk you through this, show you some of this footage. information I'm really just kind of scratching the surface uh, of this topic because it's a really in-depth topic there's a lot of variations to it and um, how I approach this can really change 
drastically based on what the fish are doing and what I'm seeing on my sonar uh, on any given day. So I've used this t technique in a variety of ways. The very basics of it are generally the same, but I'm going to come back in some future videos and cover a whole lot more information and kind of fill in the gaps on some of the variations of this and more of the details that you need to go to go out and use these precision catfishing techniques. Now, I've also put together a whole lot more in-depth information on this topic, trying to bridge the gap because of this audio failure issue that I had uh, where I lost all the audio. I'm trying to piece this all together and make it work. So you can head over to catfishedge.com forward slash precision catfishing and you'll find all this information. You'll also find a link down below this video where you can just go directly to the Catfish Sheds website and get these additional details. Now, if you like this information, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Let me know. Subscribe to the Catfish Edge YouTube channel. And if you've got questions or comments on this topic or have suggestions for what you'd like to see in future videos, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know. Till next time, this is Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.